Looks like Kyle Dubas and the Toronto Maple Leafs weren't done. They signed two former Boston Bruin players. Andre Kasha signs for one year at $1.25 million. And it looks like Nick Ritchie, yes, Don Cherry, and his Toronto Maple Leafs finally get their man after all these years. They signed him to a two-year deal worth $2.5 million. Let's start with Ritchie. Yes, Don Cherry. When he went livid that the Toronto Maple Leafs dare to take the Swedish phenom William Nylander over Ritchie back back in the day. Uh, how'd that turn out? Well, William Nylander is a stud. Uh, he's making $6.9 million and had a great playoff, even though Toronto didn't. Uh, and ever since signing that deal, and let's say those first, what, the first half of his return to play, um, after that, he's he's been great and worth every penny. Heck, he's probably underpaid nowadays. Uh, Nick Ritchie, on the other hand, you know, he, he travels around, he goes to Boston, he does all right sometimes, and then other times he's a ghost. Uh, I think Toronto's looking at him for that big body, net front presence, crash and bang, and maybe he fills in that left side on the top line with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Two-year deal, $2.5 million. Why not? Uh, much cheaper option than, than others for the Leafs, and they don't have much cap space. Andre Kasha, on the other hand, you know what? Uh, he's only 25 years old, and... Yeah, he ha- he's had some concussion issues. I think he's had five now at 25. So this might be, you know, uh, a last go for him. Um, he didn't even play. I think they said, I-, I read, he played like 26 total minutes last season for the Boston Bruins. Um, hopefully his concussion issues are behind him. If not, the Toronto medical staff is where you want to be. And at $1.25 million for one year, that's a flyer you take. Uh, if he can find his game like he had in Anaheim, there's a reason Boston traded for him from Anaheim to get him out of Anaheim. Um, if he can find his footing again, he will f- slot right in there with the Leafs, and you can see him probably on the third line. Uh, with these two, it looks like the Maple Leafs are done and the roster's set. Wouldn't surprise me if you had Nick Ritchie play on the left side with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner, JT, Nylander, and Kerfoot on your second line, Bunting on the third line, uh, you would definitely have um, Kampf in there or Kampf in there at center and then Kasha on the right wing. Get Spets in there. McKayev and Simmons fill out the fourth line. Angval's around. Brooks, he's there to be that 13th forward. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if he gets sent down or gets picked up on waivers. I know it sucks, but this is the life we're playing. On defense, you have Riley Brody, you got Muzzin Hall, and you have Dermot Sandin or whatever mix they're going to do. Goaltending, you have Mrazek, and you have Jack Campbell. It looks like the Leafs have solidified their team. How do I feel about it? Well, it's the best they could do with the, <laughs> with the cap space they have. Let me know down below what you think of this team, what you think of the signings, and will there be any more moves, any more movement based uh, out of Toronto before the, start, before the start of the season? Wouldn't surprise me if Dubis has... Uh, has some tricks up his sleeve. Anyway, there you go. Free agency might be done for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Take care.